Taiwan is currently facing a declining birth rate and an aging population, which has decreased the size of the working age population. At a forum, National Development Council Minister Gong Mingxing spoke about the government's three main policy directions. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang has the details. National Development Council Minister Gong Mingxing said that in order to improve talent development strategies in Taiwan, the government will make efforts in three major directions. The first is strengthening the recruitment of foreign professionals. He said that the government will continue to promote the Taiwan Employment Gold Card Open Work Permit to provide talents with better job flexibility while living in Taiwan. The second is attracting and retaining overseas students. It is necessary to introduce a large number of foreigners. The government has made plans in three directions. We hope that in the next 10 years, we can attract 400,000 foreign workers. That's why we have the Act for the Recruitment and Employment of Foreign Professionals, which is currently being revised. It provides workers great flexibility. Professionals can go through a vetting process to obtain the employment gold cards. The cards will allow them multiple entries into Taiwan from their countries of origin at any time within three years. If they stay for a longer time, they can apply for a permanent residence permit. We're also looking forward to the arrival of international students in Taiwan. At present, the number of overseas degree students is around 10,000, and there are about 5,000 to 6,000 students who stayed in Taiwan afterward. I hope that number can grow. I hope that over the coming seven years or eight years, the foreign student capacity will grow threefold, from more than 10,000 people to more than 40,000 people. The third policy is providing opportunities for migrant workers in Taiwan to further their skills and careers. Third, don't forget that foreign migrant workers in Taiwan also help us a lot. There are about 700,000 foreign migrant workers in Taiwan. Some of them are young people, and some of them graduated from high school and university. They're outstanding, so we provide a channel for them to stay. For example, after being employed, they can stay in Taiwan by working part-time while studying. They can stay by pursuing an associate degree or a degree. Or they can become more senior, skilled, mid-level technical people. We, of course, would like them to stay. In addition, the government also hopes to attract STEM workers and retain Taiwanese talents to help with Taiwan's digital transformation. First, we need to create a stage for these talents. In the past, Taiwan's industry developed through OEM work, but OEM relies on low costs, so many talents ended up going abroad because overseas costs are lower than in Taiwan. In our policies, we want to create more opportunities for industrial development. From a global perspective, the most important development trend is digital transformation. So we need a lot of talents to help in digital transformation, STEM talents. Taiwan also needs talents with an international vision. That's why the bilingual policy is very important and will greatly help Taiwan's future competitiveness. Taiwan is currently facing a declining birth rate and aging population, which has reduced the number of working age adults. At the forum, academics, experts and government officials gather together to exchange ideas on how to grow and retain talent in Taiwan. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Yan Wen-Tian in Taipei.